Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. We're very large and in charge at the moment. I'm 32 weeks today. As you may have or have not already guessed, we are doing my hospital bag video today. So I've got my bag packed over here and I've got baby's bag packed over here. This is just her nappy bag. I am a little bit late to the game this time around. I have usually well and truly had my hospital bag packed by this time, even the form that I got from the hospital that says like what to pack blah 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 it says on there please have your hospital bag packed just in case by 28 weeks excuse the puffing like I'm really in the thick of it at the moment I'm feeling very large I need to get swollen the breathing is just like whew, just talking gets me puffed so enough of that I'm gonna start with mine first and then I'll do baby so I have got two packs of these disposable post postpartum undies. I am not a fan of, just because I am a C-section mama, so for those who don't know, I have had an emergency C-section with my son. Then because they were so close together, him and my daughter, I had to have a repeat C-section. And then this time again, I have to have another c-section so third c-section coming up but i have never really been a fan of wearing normal undies and then pads and stuff just given like my scar and everything that kind of is going on around down there i don't love the pressure so these are definitely my go-to postpartum i've never actually had this brand before but i usually just get like the depends ones from the supermarket i've packed two packets of them so there's 16 there in total if worse comes to worse i can just send jade down to the supermarket to get me some more i've also got a pack of nappies for baby in here just because they didn't fit in her bag and then toiletries i have actually just got a lot of disposable nursing pads in here just because i'm not breastfeeding again i've just got like travel size things in here so i've got shampoo and conditioner deodorant body wash mouthwash toothpaste a toothbrush and then just a comb i've also just got a charger a book to read that i haven't started i just thought i'll just this will be my hospital book that i can read and i don't want to hold this up because i don't know if you're going to be able to see too much but on the back of here is the baby's name <laughs> middle names this is like a little announcement plaque that we've got made up now coming in clothes and that sort of stuff honestly i don't really give a shit what i look like in hospital it's more just about comfort for me and this is gonna be the first time having my baby in the winter as well when it's like really cold so I just want to try and be comfy i've packed a pair of trackies a couple of like oversized t-shirts a jumper a couple of pairs of recovery shorts if i'm up to them but obviously no pressure oh another jumper and another pair of trackies and another big shirt as well like i said comfort is key i've got two pairs of like lounge <laughs> what are they called oh my god two pairs of pajamas um one with like a short sleeve tee and then one with a long sleeve tee a couple pairs of socks some comfy slippers and shoes that i just wear there and then I've packed three tight crop tops. That's all I've got packed in there. I don't really need too much at all. That's my bag done. And now I'll show you a little above the girls bag. So pretty much, what have we got out here first? I've got two packets of white. Hospital doesn't provide nappies and whites. It provides everything else. So that's the only other thing. Oh, and then apart from myself, maternity pads or disposable undies and that sort of stuff is what I had to pack. But yeah, so I've already got her nappies in there, wipes in here, two dummies these have been sterilized then i've just got a couple of i think this is going to be her announcement outfit tossing up between that and something else so what i've kind of done is just because in the past my babies have been in five zeros for quite a substantial amount of time like i think michael was five nearly five months old and he was still in five zeros and nelly was like three months and she was still in five zeros so i've packed like an even amount of five zeros and four zeros although i think the five zeros are going to be the ones that she's going to be in at the moment she's measuring on like the 58th percentile so she's sitting at like an average size so that's what i've done in the past and that's what i will do again i've just got two sleep suits for her muslim wraps have never worked for my children both micah and nelly absolutely hated muslim wraps like i reckon i would have bought 20 something that i had heaps there for micah and he hated they literally just got used as like a light blanket over there, like in his bassinet and in the pram and stuff as well or like to cover uh, from the sun and stuff with the pram with clips on it like they never got used as Muslim wraps so they haven't been very successful for us and Ellie was the same absolutely hated them they both just got out of them no matter who wrapped them how tight they were they both just got out of them and absolutely hated them both liked sleeping with one arm in and one arm out so yeah 
just not not gonna happen so we've learned our lesson five zero outfits so i've just got five little onesies there and then a bunch of five zero singlet i did just get like little singlets like this but a lot of these are secondhand ones as well but i absolutely love the suits like this I just feel like it's so much better for them especially in the colder weather it doesn't like ride up with their clothes and you don't undress them and they've just got like a little boob tube hat so much better then i have packed three burp cloths this is all the four zero stuff i packed another five four zero suit and then i've also packed just a couple of four zero singlets as well so i've just packed two little beanies this is to go with like that outfit for an announcement and then i have also packed two pairs of socks and two pairs of mittens all of these all the suits that i've packed have like the feet in them just in case i've packed two and then i've also packed them for some extra warmth for her the mitten i have also chucked in just for when some visitors come or an announcement photo i've chucked in two bows which was something that did not make its way into my hospital bag with nelly because i absolutely refused them and I thought that they were so stupid but I got over so many people asking me whether she was a boy or a girl I'm like oh I have started putting them on her now even though they don't last long they're very very cute I do have something else that I want to show you and I'm not gonna be able to show you all of it because it's gonna give away her name one thing that we did with Micah when we had Nelly was try to make the first like initial meet really exciting and you know he was meeting his baby sister for the first time and she had a present for him and he had something to give her so we did sibling gifts again this time around and i'm trying to hide this a little bit because and there's two things in here that have her name on it from their little sister they're getting a matching outfit so this is going to be from the baby to micah it's just like a matching tracksuit set it says mini on it nelly's is a little romper she's getting a little romper and i also got a matching one of these for the baby and then i also got a ma pretty much exactly like this it's just a jumper but it says mama m-a-m-a -M -A. yeah so we're gonna have a little matching moment so yeah that's going to be to micah and to nelly from the baby and then these things both have her name on them so i'm not going to be able to show you them i'm just going to show you the back all of my kids have got the cuddle blankets from a company called the custom co and they absolutely love them they go to bed every single night have their naps and everything with these blankets and this is actually what they got each other micah and nelly got each other for a sibling gift when Nelly came along so Micah's birthday was the month before so he got a birthday present from his little sister and it was his blanket and then he came in to meet Nelly he gave her a present and hers was her one so this is the baby's one it does have a name on the other side like the kids they both have their name so I think I'm gonna do this one from Micah and then this I'm not showing you the front but this is a little newborn chunky knit on the front it does have her name but yeah I'm gonna give this to her from Nelly so. But that is it. We're all packed. We're 32 weeks, less than two months to go until she's in our arms, which is just absolutely crazy to me. I feel like this pregnancy has gone so freaking quick. I don't know whether it's because I'm currently chasing after two toddlers, but I can't wait to add some more craziness to it when this baby comes along. So it is future editing Georgie here. And I have just finished editing my hospital bag video and just realized that it's quite on the shorter side. So as I'm currently editing this right now, I'm 34 four weeks exactly and we had our maternity shoot that weekend after I had packed my hospital bag and we've just gotten my photos back today so I thought I would actually throw in some of my favorite photos at the end of our maternity shoot just to close off the video thank you again for watching and here is a little outro I guess with photos from our maternity shoot my trip is so hot cause I don't got friends I got family at the end of the day that's all